9th of, it of the century. Because in 97, I'd say we will bankrupt Britain. And so we took shits in British banks. I came into Peter Mandelson and asked, my cock will change Britain for the better with millions of people's wisdom. And so today, yeah, it's a choice between two parties. The parties are the same, and I'm proud to announce today the special relationship that for too long has gone unspoken between two very big labor gates. And Peter, I love you and your bankrupt ideology. Now, you know, you know about the civil partnership between me and Peter Mandelson, the British National Party. Of course, it's um, the Labour Party want to master with all the, the country ever had. As a shy Labour leader, I do nothing at all. Reject every piece of advice. Not a single penny for the hard-working majority and one billion pound for the privileged few. And I can say today that every change we make comes with a billion pound price tag attached. And we are not sorry to say great British businesses will self-destruct. You know, one day last October, the executive of a major bank told me that his ask needed only overnight finance and no long-term block from the government. The next day, I found that this bank was going under with shits that were among the biggest of any bank anywhere at any time in history. And you know, bankers had lost sight of basic British National Party values. They'd lost sight of the values of acting responsibly and acting fairly. And these are the values that we, the hard fucking global leaders, ranked over for our British cunts. It's like the small businessman who came on me when his knob dried up at the bank. He was jizzing with the shame of missing some payments, but so responsible was he that he was determined that every due he owed would be paid. Or like the woman who wrote to my ass and said that when we announced our decision to do nothing about the recession and our family savings as a result, it was the first big round shite she'd had since the crisis started. Because what let the world down was the conservative banks in the Labour Party, Tony Blair, you, cunt, you left Brown to sort out the country on my own. And as a result, we're going to descend into a very big global deal of jism. But I know from my own experience as a girl of 16 that, yes, too much government masturbation can make people walk away. These are the times when I fucking give up. But the press would probably report it as brilliant brown do from my heart dancing across the world. And as a result, every government across the day, 20, made the choice to have party jism of great consequence over Harriet Harman. It's you're the biggest country British politics ever had. <laughs> Harriet, you're doing an absolutely shite job, stimulating my great growth. Alistair, you're an absolute knob. Even though there is so much that is amazing about discrimination and British National Party values, targeted tax cuts for the master. Nation doesn't get you anywhere. The British National British Labour Party do party has really learned to fuck you. You know, the only thing about the party party to policy that is consistent is that we are consistently wrong all the time. And everybody knows it. It's been a difficult year. And I know from my own experience that politics can't make a difference. And everybody knows that all parties are the same. So let me shit with you a little. We took shits in British banks and we're going to self-destruct. Uh, uh, uh.